Hey, what's happening, guys? We are going to continue from where we were the last time where we talked about Ohm's Law. And if you remember that, I'll just draw the little Ohm's Law triangle up here. Just a quick refresher course. So E is our voltage. R is our resistance. And I is our current. If we know any two, we can find the other. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll link to it down below. You can go back. And there was a mistake in my in that video in the math in the end where we were calculating power. I said 10 divided by 1 equals 1. Oh uh, no, 10 divided by 1 equals 10. So 10 times 10 is actually equal to 100 watts. My mistake, stupid mistake. Sorry about that. Okay, so what do we mean when we say power in electronics? Well, the definition of power is the rate of change of energy from one form to another. And those can be changed to forms such as motion, like in your car, heat, and electromagnetic force. That is what we mean by power. Power is often abbreviated as P, but the unit is Watt. Named after James Watt, right? Well, the discoverer of power, or the discoverer of the relationship of power in electronics, was James Joule. I forget if his name has, yeah, I think it's just one. And Joule's formulas for power are current times electromotive force, or what we refer to as voltage. That's one way to find it. We can also find it by saying power is equal to E squared over resistance, and power is equal to current squared times resistance. So all three of those are different ways to find power. But now let's roll this all back into our Ohm's Law equation. Okay. So here we have our voltage, which is represented by E, our current, which is represented by I, resistance, which is represented by R, and power, which was represented by P. So let's put those into our Ohm's Law triangle like we did yesterday. So now we can calculate three things. We can calculate, where's my pen? There it is. Voltage, current, resistance. So let's, uh, let's draw up a simple little circuit. Okay, so here is our simple circuit. Here we have a 10 volt DC battery. Here we have my crude drawing of a light bulb that has a 10 ohm resistance. You can see the direction of the current flow. And what we want to solve for is the power in this circuit, but we need to know the current first. It doesn't matter where we are in the circuit, according to Kirchhoff's laws. Current can be anywhere. So, how are we going to figure this out? We need to know I, our current. So that is E divided by R. So 
that would be what 10 uh, this is not going to work with my drawing thing on here shoot one moment please this is going to look funny hang on okay so now I should be able to work this guy yep all right so 10 volts divided by 10 ohms is equal to 1. So our power, or our, yeah, our current in this case, is 1 amp. So how, you're asking, does this help us get to the power? Well, here we go. Get ready for this, you're going to like it. We're going to create a new triangle over here. We're going to call it the power triangle. And power triangle is made up of pi. Now, in the first video, a couple guys said that I should change the E we use for voltage to a, a more common V. I leave it at E because then that makes the pi analogy here so much easier. So if we want to find the power in this circuit, our power is equal to, sorry about that, I had to go cough. Still not quite over all that coughing from the COVID. So power is equal to I times E, whoops. Power is equal to 1 times 10. Power is equal to 10 watts. So that is kind of how everything ties together. Let's try another one. We'll make this one a little more tricky, more 10s and 1s. <laughs> okay, class, here we are. Here is a slightly more difficult problem, not much. Here's our battery. It is 24 volt DC. We have a resistor of 100 ohms. We also have a light bulb that is 5 ohms. If you saw the last video, you know that ohms is sometimes expressed as R when we have low values. So we want to find the power of this circuit. So to find the power, we need to know the... Uh, well, there are other ways to do it, but let's do our Ohm's Law calculations first. We need to know the current, so that is E divided by R. Our E is 24 volts DC. So I will put that in the calculator. 24 volts divided by the resistance. Now, as these are both purely resistive, they can simply be added up. So 5 plus 100 equals 105, and that is the R total in this circuit. So now we know we can find I. It, it is E, which is 24, divided by R, which is 105. So put that in the calculator, 105, that didn't work, Let's try that again. 105, that equals, we're going to round up to 0.23. So I equals 0.23 amp. That's a 3. 0.23 amp. So now we can calculate P. Whoops. We say P is equal to I times E. P is equal to 0.23 times 24. Oh, that was the wrong button. So 0.23 times 
So 0.23 times 24. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? 24. And P is equal to 5.52 watts. Oh, that was the wrong button again. I'm not having a lot of luck with this. <laughs> Never mind. I was trying to drag that in there so you guys could see it, but it's not important. So that's where we're going to leave it today. We now know how to calculate all of the Ohm's Law formulas, all of the power formulas. We're not going to do any more of this this week. Next time when we come back, we'll talk about Kirchhoff's Law superposition, all that kind of good stuff. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to the two new guys who joined up with the Patreon this week. If you haven't joined it, check it out down below. Buck a month's all I ask. There's a couple other tiers, but hey, buck a month keeps the lights on, keeps the videos coming. That's it. I'm out. Peace.